Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. The NLT translation. The NLT translation. Pray in the Spirit at all times. And on every occasion, stay alert. And be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem El Shah, Bashem El Kakudash, the Wadi El Bashem El Shah, for giving us the apostles and the elders and the elders of Great Millstone. And shout out to the Akim, pushing the words of sincerity and truth, being faith based, and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come. Praise for his family, concentration camps, God by Beach, and Mr. Mark of the Beast. 200 million missiles in the soils of America. Simultaneously, the chairs of the Lord lift the whole flock into their chambers. Simultaneously, the chairs of the Lord lift. Simultaneously, the chairs of the Lord shoot them laser beams to ungodly and heathens right through the soul. And I'll block this out of all to the cause of this video. This is best for the salvation of this filthy place, which you know, in Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the filthy customs that are taken upon. And Salakia. Um, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who deserve the honor for every soul. Hey, right now the time is um 4.58 a.m. in the morning, just over my eyeballs, man. September 11th, 2024, the whole year of Jacob's trouble, and we praying for this, man. And um, just going over everything in your mind every day. Same thing is, it's the only way out. I'm praying for um, praying for all the saints. I just want to see this work. Just do that work. It's a lot of Yeah, I'm about to show myself like a dash. Indigence. Indigence. Um, I see what that means. It's a lot of I just wanted to see the meaning of a word. A couple of words. Indigence, the state of extreme poor. Stand and pray it up, right? Indigence. Indigence. A state of extreme poverty. Poverty. Indigence. And the need and indigence want. Provision, funeral, penury, penury, extreme poverty. That's the two things. All right, supplication. A seeking, asking, entreating, entreating to God or man. Yeah, suffocation. I just want to see that word again. All right, so let's read this in, in the KJV. Um, it says, praying always. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 18. Praying always with all prayers and supplication in the spirit and watching there unto with all perseverance and suffocation for all saints. So, um, um, always praying for for the Akim, you know, Akwab, you know, those as the elect, the elect, those men, you know, and we know that the two thirds gonna come back, but the first go around is gonna count. That's where it all counts out. We don't want to be a part of this um second death. We want to make it out of here. It says, so we're praying to be saved from the second death. Right, let me see how that goes. It's just verses in my mind. 
second death Bible verse Revelation. We're praying for salvation, man. We're praying to make it out of here, bro. We're praying for all these things to happen so we can get out of here, bro. And the earth needs purification so we can feel, we can get emotions we want, but we want this to happen. But um, Revelation chapter 20, verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. See, that's, we're going to, you know, how can you cast death into hell? That we ain't going to, we going to, we ain't going to never die again. And we're going to never be in this condition again. Okay. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. And this is the second death. Those old missiles, man, that are going to be hitting this place, man. And we're going we're gonna to have victory, man. We're going to never be in a worst case scenario again. We're going to live forever. We're never going to be sick. It's going to be beautiful, man. Y'all wish I said that. He said that he can wipe away our tears, man. He told, um, I believe he told John that, right, Revelation? Right. And that's what we're looking forward to, man. I'm waking up right now. My eyes are open. You know, in my dreams, I'm in my sleep, I'm crying. You know, uh, I can't remember what I was crying about, but maybe that, maybe that's that was a um uh, a case of mercy. Because if I probably would remember, I probably wouldn't stop crying. I wake up, I'm always got tears coming out my eyes, man. You know. I'm looking forward to this this outcome, man. I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know where I'm gonna land in musical chairs. I would see I would say that goes coming to my mind, musical chairs. I remember playing that when I was a young kid, you know, young person playing around, you know, musical chairs. Yeah, I remember those days of winning. I remember those days of losing. I wanna win, man. Revelation chapter 21, verse 4. Oh, Revelation chapter 21, verse 3. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the time of action of Yahweh is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his power, and they shall be his people, and and Yahweh himself shall be with them and be their power. And he, that's what we're going to be our power, our true power, bro. We don't have to worry no more, bro. I'm telling you, man. And, and, Yahweh, and Yahweh shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes. And there, and, and there shall be no more death, man. We're going to die no more, man. You know? You know, so I never know what I was crying about. I sometimes I have so many dreams, man. I be gritting my teeth. I be feeling myself quit. I have to wake up. You know? And um, I have a lot of different dreams. I have a lot of dreams, man. I just sometimes I just it comes out later on. I can remember later. I'm like, man, that was crazy. But, you know, you get that thought. But. Huh. We pray for the Akio, man. Praying for myself. Praying. Praying to Yabba Shinam Shah to keep us, um, keep me enduring. You know, I see so many miracles, so many things happen. I was even praying for this individual, you know, and the Lord helped him out just enough, you know, you know, and, uh, why do y'all shot for that too? You know, you know, you never know who you meet on the on the path. Because even you know, if 
Listen, I always say this in my mind too. I say it also. I say it to certain individuals. I'm like, my reaction is going to determine who's going to win at that moment. How I react to any situation is going to determine who's going to win. Because some people want to see your reaction to what they do to you, and when they the reaction you give them is determine how they're going to conduct themselves their next move. Because the move on move. This is why people, when this shit hit the fan, you're going to know why. Because someone would make a bad move. And it's going to cost everybody like that's left on the soils of America. And that's the second death. Those 200 million missiles dropping here. Second death, man. And you don't want to be here. Nope. You don't want to be here. I thought this all on this man and make it up out of here, man. And yes, I say that all the time. Oh, you already say that. You don't know what's going to happen? No, I don't. Yeah, how was I don't even know when he's coming back. When it's going to kick off, right? But we know it's at the, the signs of the time. By the signs of the time, we know it's going to be soon. But just to, um, only the king of time got the, um, full control. Whew, that's your hour. And we waiting for him. We waiting, man. We ain't patient. He's going to make it all good, man. No more death, man. And the one day I watched some little shot for the apostles. That was a good little story. And the Akim, too, bro. Hey, the Day of Atonement starts tonight. Right now, the time is Wednesday. Um, 5 or 8 a.m. in the morning. Wednesday, September 11th, 2024. The whole year of Jacob's trouble. Tonight, the Day of Atonement starts. So I want to say Salakia to any Akim. I have offended out there, you know, I know I'll be, I'll be, um, you know, miss, you know, saying words when you know, I'm reading and stuff like that, but, um, you know, I'm just happy to be doing the Lord, yeah, well, Shemel Shah said, I remember what I, I didn't like to read, like, I wouldn't say, well, I just, you know, I couldn't read, whatever, or however it went down, I was embarrassed, but now I'm not, you know, I know, you know, oh, you get help from the internet when you let it say it for you. Man, yo, hey, I'm still, uh, I'm not perfect on this side in the flesh, and, but when it comes, when I get to that 100% download from you, yeah, I'm sure that's what he promised us. He said, I gotta go, um, said, um, uh, a new covenant, right? A new covenant is the 100, the 100, 100% download. New Covenant Bible verses. That's the New Covenant. We know you download with all the information, everything. We don't have to. We don't have to teach one another. Tell you that. That's the scripture I'm thinking about. All right. Let's see. I think this is it. This is. I think this is it. Let's see. Let's read a little bit of this anyway. It says Jeremiah chapter thirty-one, verse thirty-one. Behold, the day behold the day comes, say the Lord Yahweh that I will make a new covenant with the house of Yahashala and with the house of Judah. Not not according to the to the to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand bring, to bring them out to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They go clear in case who he's talking to. Which my covenant, which my covenant, they they break. Although I was a husband unto them, said the Lord Yahshua. But this shall be. <laughs> oh, it's lucky. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Yahshua Allah after those days. The days is coming after those missiles, man. Don't need that download, bro. That full download. Those days, these are the days it's about to get the full. We learning everything right now. How in a wicked society, we learn how to be righteous, one hundred percent righteous, man. We know all the shit we doing. That's why we still sinners, bro. But he, when we not gonna be sinners no more. We ain't gonna break no law. The law, the word sin means transgression of the law. We are not gonna break the law. So we still sinners, bro. And after those days, said the Lord Yahweh, I will put a my law in their inward parts. There go, the law. Don't you got to understand that certain words stuck out right there. That one stuck out right there. The law, right? I will put my law in their inward part in your mind. 
and write it in their hearts and with all and will be their power and they should be my people. All right, that's what we're going. And here go to clean. Here go to point. This is how you know we're going to be the ultimate. We ain't got to teach. When this happens, man, we ain't got to teach one another. We want to teach the other nations how to obey. And they should teach no more every man his neighbor. His neighbor is his his um his, his Yasha Allah brother Yasha Allah Akians and Aquas. We're not going to teach them because they're going to know. We're never going to go off again. You know why that makes logical sense? That how we're going to defeat death. We have victory over death because we're going to have 100% pure power in us. We, we're going to be immortal. Okay? And they should and they should teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, No, y'all, y'all shall, for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest. And that's that's just y'all shall, our men and, and Brothers and sisters and children. Of them say the Lord Yahweh for I will for I will forgive their iniquities. Here go the Lord, He's gonna forget our sins. And I will remember their sins no more. So it's about to go down, bro. That's the that that's that's we gonna never be we're gonna be perfect, man. Man, he really, uh, we really went through this ringer, bro. Like, this is the, this is a, this is the no to know it all. This is to know, to know it all. I don't know if that made sense. <laughs> this is us knowing it all, bro. Man, man it's about to happen, man. And, you know, um, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, we're gonna keep the laws perfectly. We're gonna never go off again. We're no worrying about all this bullshit. And um, it's gonna be glorious, man. Yeah, so I think that's just what I wanted. That's what I needed right there. That was good. Yeah, that's, deep, that's, that's a good file. Good, so yeah, um, let me go back real quick. Let's read this again. So we are praying for the brothers, praying for the sisters. Let's go to whoever you know. That's that's um, that's a. Oh, I should have that. Read that later. That's that's gonna be the hopeful life. I'm about to say I'm the hopeful life. <coughs> I'm praying. <laughs> I'm praying for the hopeful life, man. You know, and uh, let's read this. Let's read a little bit more of this. Ephesians chapter six, verse um, eighteen, NLT translation. Pray the Spirit at all times, and on every occasion. Stay alert. Stay alert. Right? And that's what we do. And be persistent in the salakia. And be persistent. And be persistent. Stay, stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. Believers. Be, be believers, bro. So we're not saying <coughs> and everybody and pray for me too. Ask Yahweh Wayosha to give me the right words to, to so I can boldly explain Yahweh's mystery plans that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. Not it's not the um the foreigners, it's the um the Israelite foreigners. <coughs> not the, <coughs> the <coughs> The um, Gentiles that's not of the nation. We just read that in Jeremiah. <coughs> so we gotta keep that in mind. So that was just a quick one. Staying prayed up. Um, pray for the Akio, the Akwaf, you know, the hopeful elect. Pray for the hopeful elect. I love to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Shem El Shah, Bashem El Kodash, the Wadi of Bashem El Shah, for the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Shalom to the Akim. Shalom.